Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com, and welcome to another episode of The John Morris Show. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to parse XML with simple XML and PHP. So specifically in this episode, you're going to be learning what simple XML is, which is it's a default extension included or enabled by default in PHP, and you'll learn exactly what that is. You're going to learn how to retrieve an XML file or an RSS feed, uh, as you may refer to it. And then you're going to learn how to uh, parse that file and be able to display different information on your site, kind of like you see here with the simple list that we've created. So that's what you're going to learn in this episode, so be sure to stay tuned. You know, I'm always harping on how important creating content to attract new clients is to you guys. It's how you get your name out there and let people get to know you. It's how you get and keep those people's attention. And it's how you use that attention to get those people to trust you enough to hire you as their developer. In fact, my blog content is the prime mover behind my entire business. Without it, I'd have no business. But I know a lot of you are just starting out or are new to the idea of blogging for your business and aren't sure how to get your blog started. Well, fear no more because I recently created a blog tutorial where I walk you step by step through starting your blog. From picking your domain name to setting up your hosting to installing your blog software and every little trick that I've learned along the way the last 11 years to make sure you're set up to be successful with it. Now it's a completely free, no email sign up or strings attached blog tutorial that you can find over at johnsbloggingtutorial.com. So go check it out and let's get you blogging and bringing in new clients for your web design business. Head on over to johnsbloggingtutorial.com. All right, so let's start with just a quick look at what we're actually building over here. So you can see that we have just a simple list of blog posts here and we have them linked up to where they click. Now this is actually just from my website, johnmorrisonline.com. So if we click through on one of these, then this is actually gonna take us over there and you can see that links to the actual page here. So pretty straightforward. Obviously you could go through and you could kind of do whatever you wanted to with this uh, and, and uh, display this and pull whatever information you wanted but I want to show you how to actually do that using simple XML so real quick what is simple XML well simple XML if you go over you can just google simple XML and uh, the manual entry is the first option uh, I believe or you can go to php.net slash manual slash en slash book dot simple XML dot PHP I would just google it for me but uh, you can see over here on this page you have kind of a, a list or of different things about simple XML. If we go to the introduction, you can see that simple XML is just an extension that's uh, enabled by default after PHP 5.1.2. And it just pro provides a very simple and easy way to convert XML to an object that you can then use how you normally would inside of PHP. Right? And as I mentioned, if we go to the uh, installing and configuring you can see that this extension is enabled by default although before PHP 5.1.2 you actually had to put this clause in here to enable the extension I'm gonna hope that you're on greater than 5.1.2 but if not then there's that for you All right so that's what simple XML is it's just a, a built-in simple way to parse XML files RSS feeds etc all right so how do we go about using this? Well, it's actually really pretty straightforward. So the first thing that we need is we need the URL that we're going to be pulling from. Now, again, my assumption is that you're going to be pulling this from some sort of external RSS feed. That seems to be the most common way that people use this or the most common question when I get asked about this. That's what people are wanting to do. Right. So. You can see I've just specified the URL of my RSS feed here, pretty straightforward. And then we can just start calling the functions here. So we have our, uh, we're setting uh, the feed that we're going to pull to XML, this XML variable, and we're calling simple XML load file, and we're passing in our URL. 
And so that's essentially going to do all of the hard work that we need done. It's going to uh, check that URL. It's going to see if it has, there's actually something there that it can work with. It's going to pull it in and then it's going to parse that XML file into an object that we can then use how we normally would inside of PHP. Now you see I have this or die kind of uh, the clause here that uh, if it can't connect to that URL or it can't, there's some sort of error with it grabbing that XML file, it's going to uh, just die and say it can't connect to the, that URL. Obviously that's primarily for you as a developer decoding. You may want to handle this in some different way for your production site, but that's uh, for your debugging and as you're building this, then that's a basic way that you can just check that it's loaded. Right, so uh, then down here, I'm actually printing this out. I've uh, kind of escaped this so I could show you this part first, but let's unescape that and we'll reload this page. And then you can see, get an idea of what the actual object looks like so you can see what you have access to. Now, obviously, this is going to depend on what XML file you're pulling. Everyone's going to be different. So uh, it's going to have different information and a different structure, but simple XML is going to do its best to come through here and create a, an object that you can use. So you can see we have our, um, our base object up here, and then inside of that we have this channel element, which is another object. Inside that we have the title, the link, the description. This is all of the channel itself, uh, the build date, the language. And then we have an, a, a list of items. So these are the actual blog post items that are in this RSS feed. And so then you can see that's an array of objects. And then each object for the blog post title is going to have a title, a link, comments, publish date, category, GUID, which is a WordPress thing, and a description. And so you can see we have a list of all of the different items, all of the different art, uh, elements that are in that RSS feed. Okay, so pretty, pretty straightforward object here. And then again, like I said, everyone's going to be a little bit different and you can kind of come through and manipulate this and, and use this accordingly depending on what it is. So a basic example for what, you know, what we have available here with this uh, RSS feed from WordPress. Let's go ahead and comment that back out. And we'll refresh this page so we can get back to our list. And you can see down here that we're doing channel and then item. So we're accessing the, 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 the file, the XML file with our variable here, channel and then item. And we're looping through. So we're looping through each item. We're setting that as this item variable here. And then we're just doing a simple printf into an unordered list. So L I A and we're passing in um, our item link that was in the elements that were available to us and then our item title in the elements that were available to us for each blog post item. So again, it's it's standard straightforward manipulation of an object. And let's go ahead and just uncomment this out again real quick so we can take a look at how these match up just to kind of go back over this and make sure it's uh, it's clear. And so you can see again for each, uh, again here we're starting with our XML file, we're grabbing channel, then we're looping through this item array, which is an array of the blog posts uh, that are available here. And we're setting each blog post to this variable of item. So that's going to take each one of these and loop through it. And then we are using item link, which is available here. And we're using item title, which is available here. And so that's how we ultimately get this output out here because we're just printing it out. All right, so it's really, like I said, it's really pretty straightforward to use this. It's a very simple, uh, very simple functionality inside of PHP. And it allows you to grab RSS feeds, allows you to grab an XML file and parse them and then be able to use that data without having to install anything crazy uh, into PHP to help you to do it. Hey guys, you probably heard me talking about the importance of starting your blog to get new clients. And you may have even taken my tutorial at johnsbloggingtutorial.com. But I want to go further and not only help you get your blog started, 
but also help you get your first few visitors. You know, I found momentum to be such a huge factor in giving you the motivation to keep going with your blog and your web development career. And I want to give you a shot in the arm and get you off to a running start. Now, I'm blessed to have a large and engaged audience. In fact, my YouTube channel is thriving with nearly 100,000 video views per month and over 18,000 subscribers. Plus, my email list grows every single day and is now currently over 23,000 subscribers, all of which translates into 40,000 plus page views of my website each and every month, which is frankly something I never would have imagined just a few years ago. It truly is amazing, and as I mentioned, it's the secret to success behind my entire business. Well, what if I promoted your website to that audience of mine? I'm confident you would pick up a few new visitors and followers of your own, and I wonder how quickly you could grow your audience. Well, that's what I want to find out. Now, to get the details on this and how I can help, you want to head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash publicity. But you'll need to do it before you start your blog. So head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash publicity right away and let's get you off to a running start with your blog. Now, if you want to get access to this source code, then the way to do that is to head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources. Or if you're on my website, you can simply click the resources tab right up here. And that will take you to my web developer resources page. Now, I have a whole all kinds of web developer resources on here from classes to the different tools that I use. But if you scroll down to the bottom here, then you'll see a section called code snippets. And you'll see PHP code snippets, WordPress code snippets, and Genesis code snippets. So you can go ahead and click on through to the code snippets that apply for the video you're watching and you'll be able to get access to that code snippet. Now, if we click here, for example, on PHP code snippets, then we will be taken to that page and you'll see all of the different code snippets here and you can click through and you'll get the video, you'll get the description and you'll get the code snippet as well. So again, head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash resources head on down to the code snippet section to get access to the snippet that you're after. Of course, while you're here, you might as well look around and see some of the other developer tools and courses that I have available here that are going to help you down your path of becoming a web developer. And since I'm constantly adding to this page, then you might as well bookmark this page and check back often so you can see all of the things that I've added and get access to all of the tools and snippets and courses and things that I'm using throughout my career. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.